Hello and welcome to our sessions on features within Sage 50. So regardless of whether you are using Sage 50 or you're out looking for a new system to be able to do this, I just want to cover a small little area, but full of lovely features around quotations to invoice. <coughs> well, we must start obviously with a customer list and behind the scenes, there's various parameters on the customers between currencies um, and um, credit limits, etc. If we jump into our quotation, so you'll see here I've got a list of quotations and various ones on the whether which status they're at, the opened or one. I'm going to create a new one here. So first of all, I have to select my customer. Um, I can set the expiry date. Usually an, a quotation has a one month expiry date. I will select my product or service um, that I want to sell. It pops up a description, but I can put extra information in here in relation to this service or product. If there's a price set for this particular service or product for this customer, it will pre-populate. It will also pre-populate with a posting to your nominal and your tax code. We can put messages on this if we want to. So again, further general information can be placed on this and all we need to do is save now all the hard work is done we have created a new quotation it's list it's listed there we can see that it's still opened so what i'm going to all i'm going to do here is i'm going to mark it as one so i have won this quotation you can see that the status has changed instantly if I, once I do that, if I pop into my um, my sales orders, you can see it's created a sales order that has not been allocated nor dispatched. So what I can do is I can come in and allocate stock if stock is applicable for the type of quotation that it is. And you can see now here the status has been uh, put to allocated. If I dispatch the sales order, sales order, it will change the status to complete. So everything behind the scenes on the quote on the quotation and orders are the same, but you'll see here it's allocation and dispatch is complete. OK, and it's telling me that if I change that, uh, it won't go back to the quotation. Um, I could turn around and I could look at any of the Order details here. I can see I've got uh, fields kind of rep and region if I want to maintain any of those as well on the sales order. But once it's complete, it will jump in and it will create an invoice. So you can see that all the way through, I haven't had to redo any of the lines on any of the documents because it's followed us through. Once I click on edit here, you'll see exactly the same piece of information there on the details. Now, if I update, sorry, before I update, I would usually email or print the um, the document. You can see here now, depending on your format and layout, what will display here, I can PDF it or again, I can send it to um, email straight from here or just go to the print. I can have as many formats as I want and layouts because I may have different services that require different pieces of information on it. Once I click on the update to the ledgers, that will now appear on the customer's account. So I pop back to the customer's account and it's going to clear off that list and I'm going to look at their activity. You will see here there's my um, invoice on the account and if I click through here, I can see the visual of what my invoice looked like. And if I click on the order details, I can see here I've also got a smart link back to my order telling me that it's completed. So everything is sitting there. So again, the, the process is showing that once you enter the transaction in correctly from the beginning, it will follow all the way through onto the customer's account. And via the customer's account, you can get a view back into the order stroke invoice if you wish to on how it looks. Thank you very much for that demonstration.